Hi guys, uh, <laughs> it is me, your friend Maria Marcel. Good morning, good afternoon to all of my friends around the world. Today I am vlogging about Thai food. Now for those of you guys who've never had Thai food before, I'm going to show you exactly what I have ordered. So, so far, I have ordered Thai tea. This is such a refreshing drink, which is mixed with like a uh, tea with like uh, with bark, bark tree, and it has um, like cream. And of course, while I'm waiting for my food, I have this crispy noodles. And I am a tea lover as well. So, uh, and check this thing out. I'm gonna show you. Um, look at that. Isn't that a cool? This is a tam yum. This is a chicken tom yam. Look at tom yam soup. So I'm having tom yam soup. So I'm going to put this so next to me. Okay, hold on. Next to me and uh, wait a minute. They put all the meat so far away from me. And um, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. So this is a this is a Thai beef salad. Now, I only eat red meat once in a while, but the way they make the Thai salad, guys, I mean, it's so good. And uh, now, for you to eat this kind of soup, you have to have a little bit of rice. Now, this is mixed with, um, here you go, if my friend can hold the camera while I am putting some soup. Isn't this fire? I mean, wow. I love being on fire. That's right because I am hot. <laughs> All right, this is a chicken tom yam soup with chicken mushroom and um, cilantro and also shrimp. So shrimp. And uh, I think I I think I'm waiting for the papaya salad as well. So um now you know of course if you're Asian when you're eating at the Asian restaurant most likely they're gonna give you some rice. Hey what's the Oh, there's some kind of ambulance. I don't know what's going on there. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. I gotta put a little bit of rice in here. Mm. Because Thai people, they eat a lot of spicy food. That's probably why a lot of people are so sexy and thin, you know? Because this, when you eat like spicy food, it usually kills the bacteria in your immune system and it boosts up your immune system. So uh, this one, it's like medium spicy, but not too, too spicy. Because I want to enjoy my food, you know? And this is with mushroom and... Wow, so good. Now, I'm going to taste a big salad. I'm going to tell you. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is so yummy. All right, guys. So, now, I like to order, I like to use chopstick when I'm eating. So, um, hold on, I'm gonna, excuse me, can I get a chopstick? So, you know, my friend is doing a good job holding the camera because I want to show you what Thai food looks like and I'm gonna give you a feedback what it tastes like because usually a lot of people, like a lot of American people think, Oh, it's so spicy, I can't take it. No, they can also make it mild for you. So, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, just pause it. Okay. Okay. So, here. Now, when I am in the Asian restaurant, I like to use chapstick. So, it seems like I'm on vacation. Like, I'm in Asia. <laughs> now, I've never been to Thai before Thailand, but I hope that I can visit Thailand one day and go to the beach and wear my sexy bikini and flaunt it out, you know? So, let me see. Now, it's a, that's a little spicy. <laughs> that's probably why they give you rice because it's a little spicy, but it's good. The way they cook the meat, it's not overcooked, so it's not too dry. Whoa. <coughs> Whoa. Mm. I really, really taste it spicy. So I'm just waiting for the papaya salad. I'll show you what the papaya salad looks like. So, um, that's, I mean, guys, that looks good. This is a deep, deep salad. Mm. 
so yummy in the soup. And of course, you know, I always, this is one of my favorite when I'm waiting for food. They give you this like little sweet and sour. So crunchy. And also you can put this on your soup. Now, even though it's hot in Vegas, like you said, when it's a hot weather, you should eat like um, soup. So your body is already warm when you go outside. You know, it's already, your body's already used to the temperature. Now, when it's cold, it's also good to eat soup because you are warming up your body. So by the time you go outside, you're not gonna be as cold as freezing cold. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Now, guys, this is the papaya salad. This is what it looks like. I mean, isn't that beautiful? This is um, papaya with peanuts, string beans, string beans, and of course, they give you like um, cabbage. I don't really know what the purpose of cabbage. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you a question when you're done. Okay? And this is with tomato, and they, what they put is fish sauce. Fish sauce. It brings out the flavor of the papaya and the peanuts and the tomato combination. And this one is like medium mild. Can I ask you a question, Miss? So when you are serving this papaya salad, right? What is the purpose of the cabbage? This one. Uh, is a lot of time they just eat it with that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, so there's no purpose if it's too spicy to eat this and it will neutralize the spice? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know what she Oh, oh my goodness, I'm like spilling it. Okay, um, yeah, so we usually put this cabbage, papaya salad. I'm going to try to copy this one day and try to make it at home. And I'm gonna vlog about it, you know, because I mean, it looks so easy to make. It's just that when you, when the weather is hot, you don't feel like cooking. And in here in Vegas, it is very hot. I live in the desert. And, um, you know, we just enjoy dining out. But before, when you come into the restaurant, you didn't have to wear masks. But now since this pandemic is, is going on, you have to wear masks. Of course, you know, wear masks like this. Oh, it's coming out. But anyway, you have to wear a mask before you come in. And in a restaurant in Vegas, if you come in, you just have to wear a mask. And then you take it out later. And um, guys, it, it's not that expensive. Thai food is not that expensive. And when you're done, you can just take it home and just eat it at home and um, have it for the next day. But for me, I like mostly um, food. I don't know. I, I like to eat different food every day. Like when I bake, I eat one or two bread and then I'm done about it. So anyway, well, I hope that you enjoy this Thai, you know. Thai food today. This is papaya salad. That is called papaya salad. Okay. And this is Thai beef salad. All right. So this is just to give you a hint for those of you guys who've never been to Thai restaurant before. Hey, maybe you can put this on your list. I have a chicken tam yam. Now you can have a chicken shrimp tam yam soup. You can order it mild, spicy, or extra, extra hot. And they always give you this nice hot tea. I'm a tea lover, so um, I think this is jasmine. Hmm, is it jasmine? <laughs> I'm not sure, but you know, um, the guys here are very, very nice. And as you see, you can see some of the Buddhas and, and everything like that. And there's not a lot of people now because they do used to close, like I think 10 or 11. But since all this pandemic going on, um, I think 9.30 now, 9.30. So, let me see, 9.30. Wow, they really give you a lot of rice. This is a Thai, this is a papaya salad, guys, you see? That's the papaya salad. And this is the beef. This is a Thai beef salad. 
All right, so that this is what I'm eating today, guys. And of course, you're an Asian, so they have to give you a bit of rice. See you eating this because it's just so good. You just can't resist the food. Thai food is one of my favorite food. Japanese food, Thai food, Filipino food, Mediterranean food, Spanish food, and Italian. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's just to give you a tip what you should order when you're going to the Thai restaurant because it's very quick and very simple but very, very delicious. So to all my Thai friends out there, hey, this is your friend Maria Marcel, reality show. Please kindly do subscribe to my channel and hope to see you again next time. Bye guys. Oh, by the way, this is uh, located on Spring Mountain. I am at um, Kung Fu Thai restaurant. This is a mixture of Thai and Chinese. So they can make Chinese food and Thai food. So, Alright guys, just to give you a tip, just in case you are from out of Vegas and you want to come to town, this is only like um, two minutes off the strip. You have to take the freeway to come here, but it's just across the street, you know? So, alright guys, I'm going to enjoy this food. This is Maria, reality show. Peace out and God bless. Alright guys, so um, I'm almost done eating. I can't eat anymore. I'm, I'm just gonna take everything home. But hey, you can't go out to the restaurant without having this. <laughs> Let's see what my fortune is. So I hope, I hope, I hope it's something good. Oh, holy cow. All right. Oh, guys, this is a fortune cookie. Fortune cookie, yeah. Sometimes they write the words so small and I have been computer, I mean I have been in front of the computer almost 24 hours a day so my eyesight is not as good like it used to be. But let's see what happens. I'm a, I'm a far sighted so I have to like it. Oh, it's upside down. Everyone needs to be loved. Oh my goodness. It's a... <laughs> I mean, can you see that? I mean, this is my fortune, guys. That's the fortune that I get. You just can't see that? All right. It says, everyone needs to be loved, especially those who, what is the word? Especially those who don't, Especially those who do not deserve. What? Everyone needs to be loved. Especially those who do not deserve. What? What? Excuse me. What is that say? Can you read my fortune? Because they're they're so small. Everyone needs to be loved, especially those who do not deserve it. See, I thought I was reading it wrong. <laughs> Do you want to go continue? Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Can you please give me a box? I'm, I'm just going to take it home. Because okay. I know you guys are closing soon. Oh. Thank you so much. That's what it says. I so, thought my I, I thought I was going blind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, everyone. All right. That's what it says. Everyone. So, I'm going to translate this in my own words, okay? Everyone needs to be loved, especially those who do not deserve. So, my translation to this word is that you have to show you have to show love to those people who have a lot of hate. <laughs> that means to all my bashers out there, you know what I'm saying? To all <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> It's <laughs> all right. It says everyone needs to be loved, most especially those who do not deserve. Well, all my bashers, my YouTubers out there, guys, if you're part of my basher, thumbs down. This is for you. All right, <laughs> because you do really need love. Because maybe you're not getting it at home, so I'm, I'm giving it to you now. All right. This is for a lot of bashers out there that always like to give thumbs down to those people. You need love too. So I just want to show you this, that you are part of this fortune tonight. <laughs> wow, that is so funny. <laughs> Who created all these words? The manager, 
for the company who does I think that company yeah. <laughs> they oh. only just randomly selected really? isn't, that, isn't that funny so to all my bachelors out there okay I mean I'm gonna show you love because you deserve it too and for those of you guys that's giving me a thumbs down I mean you're still giving me views so thank you thank you thank you <laughs> and for those people I mean, everybody's so nice anyway, but mostly the people that are um, jealous of you're aiming high or something. So, alright guys, well anyway, I guess this is really for my bachelors tonight. So.